Lucky Strike presents the Jack Benny program. But first, here's an important message from the National Tobacco Tax Research Council. Ever stop to think that you cigarette smokers help deliver the United States mail? Fact. The post office has an annual deficit of about $600 million. But you cigarette smokers contribute over three times that deficit in cigarette taxes. Yes, out of every cigarette pack you buy, the federal government takes eight cents a pack. And most state and local governments take three or four cents more. That's better than a 50% tax on every cigarette you smoke. Yes, when you buy cigarettes, over half your packs go for tax. And now the Jack Benny program, presented by Lucky Strike. Do you do that, do that, do that, do you do that, do that, be happy, go lucky, be happy, get better taste, be happy, go lucky, get better taste today. Friends, tear and compare. See for yourself that Luckies are made better to taste better. From a newly opened pack, take a cigarette made by any other manufacturer. Carefully tear a thin strip of paper straight down the seam from end to end and gently remove the tobacco. In tearing, be sure not to loosen or dig into the tobacco. Now, do exactly the same with a lucky strike. Then compare. Some cigarettes are too loosely packed. Some even fall apart. But look at that lucky. See how it stays together, a perfect cylinder of fine, mild tobacco. Now, what does this mean to you as a smoker? It means exactly this. Because your lucky is so round and firm and fully packed, you avoid annoying loose ends that spoil the taste hot spots that burn harsh and dry. Because your Lucky has long strands of fresh, clean, good-tasting tobacco, it burns evenly, smokes smooth and mild. Yes, tear and compare. Prove to yourself that Luckies are made better to taste better. Then make your next carton Lucky Strike. <laughs> Strike program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, and yours truly, Don Wilson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the warm weather is here, so let's go out to Jack Benny's house where we find Jack and Rochester cleaning out the swimming pool. Well, all the water's out of the pool now, boys. Good. Gosh, this pool sure can get dirty in a few months. Maybe it would keep cleaner if it had a tile bottom. Well, I... Or even a cement bottom. <laughs> well, In uh... fact, any kind of a bottom would be better than just plain mud. <laughs> well, I... I would cement it, but I'm growing rice in the shallow end. <laughs> Now, Rochester, when we finish cleaning the pool, I want to transplant some tulips in front of the house. Tulips? Why? Well, Queen Juliana of the Netherlands is going to be in town soon. She'll be staying at the Beverly Hills Hotel, which is just a couple of blocks from here, and she may drop in, you know. Oh, then you met Queen Juliana when you were in Holland. Well, no, Rochester. You see, the day before I arrived in Amsterdam, the Queen had gone to Rotterdam, you see. But her husband, Prince Bernhard, he's a, he's a wonderful fellow. Oh, then you met Prince Bernhard. Well, no. <laughs> you see, I went from Amsterdam to Rotterdam. But when I got to Rotterdam, I found out that they had gone back to Amsterdam. You'd have done better if you'd have gone to Boulderdam. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Now, come on, let's start cleaning the pool. Rochester, go over to the other end, right. and we'll... Oh, look at that frog over there in the corner. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Yeah, he's sure big, too. Rochester, help me catch him. <laughs> oh, he'd make a cute pet. I'd like to keep him. <laughs> Anything that's green, you like to save. <laughs> Hurry, he's hopping away. <laughs> Rochester, where'd he go? Where is he? He jumped up on your head, boss. On my head? Well, get him off. Get him off, quick. Hold still, I'll get him. Hello, Jack. What's all the excitement? Rochester, get him off. Boss, boss, Miss Livingston's here. Tip your frog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Mary. <laughs> oh, darn it. He got away. And I wanted to keep him. Oh, Jack, you've already got a turtle, a lizard, a garter snake, two crickets, and a caterpillar. 
What do you want all those things for? Well, Mary, it's no fun coming home at night to an empty house, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of the first time we met. Huh? When you leaned over and whispered in my ear, come up to my apartment, honey, and I'll show you my insects. <laughs> I was a sly one, wasn't I? <laughs> Say, Mary, how do you like the way I'm fixing up my backyard? Oh, it looks fine. And you know, as soon as the pool is filled, I want you to come over and swim every day. Oh, I'd like to, Jack, but I'm putting all my money into savings bonds. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Mary. I only charge for the upkeep. Upkeep? You charge 10 cents for the locker, 15 cents for a bathing suit, and a quarter for the use of the pool. Well, I don't charge anything for the shower. No, but the price of towels is ridiculous. <laughs> Rochester. No, well, Rochester's right. You charge for everything. Five cents for a sun chair, seven cents for a beach umbrella, ten cents for water wings. Mary. You even got a meter on the diving board. <laughs> Look, Mary. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You've got the only swimming pool that's listed on the New York Stock Exchange. <laughs> Stock exchange, stock exchange. Oh, hello, Mr. Benny. Hello, Mary. Hello, Dennis. Oh, hi, kid. Oh, boy, cleaning out your swimming pool. Are you going to fill it, Mr. Benny? Well, I really wasn't planning to for another week or so. Gee, I wish you'd fill it now. Well... Go ahead, Jack. Fill it up. Okay. Rochester, turn the water on. Oh, boy, hot diggity. How long will it take? About a half hour. Now, Dennis, here's the key to the locker. Go in and put on some trunks. Oh, I'm not going swimming. Why do you want me to fill the pool? I'm thirsty. <laughs> Look, kid, I'm not filling the pool for you to drink. If you want to go swimming, that's different. Well, I'd like to, Mr. Benny, but I can't swim. Well, you can go wading. And up to your neck, it's only 15 cents. <laughs> yeah, I lose a fortune on Gary Cooper. <laughs> oh, say, Mary, I knew I had something to tell you. What? You know the song I wrote when you say I beg your pardon and I'll come back to you? Yeah. Well, Snooky Lanson, the star of the Lucky Strike hit parade, is going to sing it tonight on This Is Show Business. No kidding. That's right. No wonder President Truman isn't going to run again. <laughs> Dennis. Dennis, what's my song got to do with President Truman? They would have blamed that on him, too. <laughs> Dennis, instead of being sarcastic about my song, let me hear the one you're going to do on the program. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. Hey, you over there, just harvest the rice. Don't eat it. <laughs> Go ahead, Dennis, sing, will you?
was very good, Dennis. Now, if you want to stick around, you can help me fix Hiya, up the... Hiya, kids. Oh, hello, Phil. Oh, hello, Phil. Well, well, clean out the old pool, huh? Getting ready to open for business, eh, Jackson? Yep. Say, Phil, would you like your job back again as lifeguard? Not after what happened last year when that fellow nearly drowned. What happened, Phil? Before I could save him, I had to buy a ticket to get in the pool. <laughs> Well, Phil, I can't afford to pay you a lifeguard salary. <laughs> Rochester, what are you doing? I'm testing the diamond board. <laughs> well, good, good. And when you're through with that, you can... Uh... Hey, Jackson, come over here a minute, will you? I got something I want to discuss with you. With me? Yeah. Well, look, Jack, I've got a dentist appointment. I better be running along. Wait a second, Mary. I'll just see what Phil wants. Oh, all right. What's on your mind, Phil? Well, it's about Bagby, my piano player. What about him? He's leaving my orchestra. No. Bagby's quitting your band? Why? He's going back to his old job. His old job? What was that? Professor of psychology at Heidelberg. <laughs> Phil. Phil, you mean to stand there with that bottle in your hand? And tell me that Bagby, your piano player, used to be a professor of psychology? Are you kidding? He's got one of the most brilliant minds in the country. You ought to see his degrees. He's got his A.B., M.A., L.L.B., Ph.D., and his S.Q.C.T.F. S.Q.C.T.F., what's that? San Quentin, class of 34. <laughs> Phil. He was voted the alumnus most likely to come back. Phil. For a while, we thought he was going to graduate magna cum gas chamber. <laughs> well, Phil, what are you worried about? You can get somebody to replace Bagby. Yeah, but that ain't what bothers me, Jackson. It's his piano, and he's going to take it with him. Well, for heaven's sake, can't you get another piano? Not one that makes ice cubes. <laughs> ice cubes? When you press the foot pedals, you get draft beer. <laughs> I wondered why that piano said Stein instead of Steinway. <laughs> well, Phil... Jack, I've got to be going. I'll be late for the dentist. Wait a minute, Mary. I'll go with you. I haven't had my teeth cleaned in a long time. Okay. Phil, I'll discuss this with you later. Okay, Jackson. So long. So long. Come on, Mary. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere with you to take that frog off your head. <laughs> Is he still there? <laughs> Get off. Get off. Okay, Mary. Let's go. Hey, Mr. Penny, was that a frog on your head? Yes. Gee, I thought your toupee was winking at me. <laughs> well, it wasn't. Come on, Mary, let's go. <laughs> Mary, which office is your dentist in? Oh, he's way down at the end of the... Say, Jack, isn't that Don Wilson coming out of that office? Why, yes, and he's got the quartet with him. Hey, Don... Don. Why, hello, Jack. Hello, Mary. Hello, Don. I didn't expect to see you here. I took the sportsman to see my dentist. Oh, yes. Hello, fellas. <laughs> Don, what's the matter with them? They all had to have a tooth pulled. Don. Don, the four of them had to have a tooth pulled at the same time? That's right. I've never seen a quartet like that in my life. They all have colds at the same time. They have headaches at the same time. Measles at the same time? Yeah, now they're going home. It's their children's birthday. <laughs> How do you like that? Each one had a tooth pulled, huh? Yes, Jack, and in that condition, I don't think they'll be able to do the commercial on the show. Well, why not? Well, look at Marty's jaw. It's all swollen, and he sings the lead. But, Don, we have to have a commercial. I know, Jack, but with Marty's jaw swollen, people won't be able to tell what he's singing about. Well, let him try it and find out. Go ahead, fellas. Let me hear it now. Anytime you're feeling lonely, anytime you're feeling blue, life's a time to ride a lucky. You'll enjoy your lucky strike of stroll. Anytime you feel like smoking, here's the one we know you will like. So any time at all, it's on the swing of fall. That's the time to light a lucky sky. Any time you light a lucky, 
you'll enjoy your drive is true. Lucky strike is better tasting. No loose ends. It is pretty bad, Don. <laughs> Lucky strike means fine tobacco. Lucky strike is the one you will like. Ask any old cowhand to name his favorite friend. That's the time you light a lucky strike. One o'clock. Two o'clock. Quarter to three. It's always LSMFC. Nine, ten. Anytime you like, it's time to light a lucky Well, Don, that didn't sound so bad. Maybe Marty will feel better by the time they have to do it on the show. Well, I hope so. Goodbye, kids. Goodbye. Bye. Jack, my dentist's office is down at the end of the hall. Oh, yes. I hope he can take me, too. While I'm getting mine cleaned, it wouldn't hurt me to have them checked for cavities. You know? Well, here we are. May I help you people? Uh, yes, nurse. I have an appointment with Dr. Foster. I'm Mary Livingston. Oh, yes. You're just in time. Go right in the first office on your left. Thank you. Uh, miss, uh, while I'm here, I, I want to find out about my teeth. Yes, sir. When did you leave them? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'd like, to, I'd like Dr. Foster to examine them. Well, uh, Dr. Foster has no appointments open. However, Dr. Nelson has a cancellation. I'm sure he can take you. Well, good, good. I'll have to get some information first. Your name? Jack Benny. Occupation? A violinist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I heard one of your concerts last summer. Oh, from the stage of the Philharmonic? No, from the diving board of your swimming pool. <laughs> hmm. Now, your age, please. Well, uh... How, how old would you guess me to be? 28? No. <laughs> no, I'm a... I'm a little older than that. Uh, guess again. 61. <laughs> For your information, miss, I happen to be 39. Oh. Yes, oh. Well, you'll have to wait a few minutes. Dr. Nelson is busy. You can sit right there and wait. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Hi, Rube. <laughs> I haven't seen you for a long time. Well, I don't get to town much anymore. Oh, you still still living in uh, Calabasas? No, couldn't stand the nightlife, so I moved to a smaller place. <laughs> you live in a smaller place than Calabasas? How big is it? Well, when four kids play Ring Around the Rosie, they circle the town. <laughs> well, that's really a small town. Isn't it? You ain't kidding, Rube. <laughs> what? They had to widen the street to put the white line down the middle. <laughs> hey. Hey, that's pretty good. And by the way, I saw your last television show. You make a good-looking woman. Well, thanks, but I don't intend to dress like that again. You ought to. You ain't nothing the way you are. <laughs> Look, mister, I only sat Dr. down here... Dr. Nelson will see you now, Mr. Benny. Thank you. So long, Rube! Goodbye, goodbye. Right through that door, Mr. Benny. Thank you. Oh, doctor... How do you do? <laughs> Look, uh, doctor, 
I'd like to you have... You don't tell me you have a toothache. No, no, I don't have a toothache at all. I only want... Hey, just sit down and leave the rest to me. But, doctor, all I want is... Doctor? Doctor, why are you strapping me in this chair? Well, the last time I pulled a tooth, I yanked you hard and threw the patient out the window. <laughs> oh, my goodness, did the tooth come out? All of them, he hit a fire plug. <laughs> Now, look, doctor, I don't need an extraction. All I want you to do is examine my teeth. Yeah, very it. well, very well. Open your mouth, please. Ah. Uh, wider. Ah. Uh, wider, so I can look way back. Ah. Uh, there. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I can see everything now. Your teeth look fine. Good. But you better do something about that appendix. <laughs> appendix? Hey, now just hold still and I'll complete the examination. Excuse me, doctor. Oh, yes, nurse. Uh, J. Howard McGrath is here from Washington. Oh, to have his teeth cleaned? No, sharpened. He wants to bite someone. <laughs> Well, I'm busy right now. And, nurse, send in my technician. I have to make an x-ray. Yes, doctor. And now, Mr. Benny, before my technician comes in, I just want to make one final check. Open your mouth. Uh, uh, doctor. Doctor, why are you spinning my pivot tooth? I used to be a disc jockey. <laughs> a disc jockey? And now I'd like to dedicate this next tooth for Billy, Mervyn, Manny, Jesse, and all the boys at Hickey's Bar, and happy birthday to Jeanette. Now cut that out! <laughs> Look, it, I just came here for a... Hey, you sent for me, doctor. <laughs> uh, yes, I have a patient here who requires an x-ray. Oh, very well. You operate the camera and I'll swing the chair around so you'll get a good picture. Is that the technician? He looks like a frog I met this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's my x-ray man and he's made some very good dental pictures. Perhaps you've seen them. They played all the neighborhood theaters. Dental pictures? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Wrong Molar. What? David and Bicuspid. Look, Doctor. And the latest one with Montgomery Clift, A Space in the Gum. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. Look, Doctor, I haven't got all day. If your man is going to take this x-ray, let him take it. I'm going to take the picture. He's going to direct it. Direct it? Yeah. Now, now, tilt your head back, Mr. Benny, and on cue, open your mouth, raise your tongue, press it over toward your right cheek, smile. Look at what's then... going on here. Lights, camera, roll them. Doctor! Don't move. We're trying for an Academy Award. <laughs> Look, all I wanted was a simple examination. I have the picture, Doctor. I'll have it developed in a minute. Hey, good. Hey, Mr. Benny, while we're waiting, just sit back and relax. Thank goodness. Hey, come in. Uh, should I sing now, Doctor? Hey, yes, Miss Bernard. Sing? Doctor, what is this? Yeah, our floor show. We can't afford magazines. <laughs> what? A floor show? When your sweetheart just <laughs> Look, Miss Burner. Miss Burner. The frog sounded better. Miss Burner, wait a minute. Look, wait a minute, Miss Burner. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Oh, brother. What did you stop me for? Miss, do you happen to know when you say I beg your pardon and I'll come back to you? No. Good, good. Well, here are the results of the x-ray, Doctor. Hey, let me see. Oh, yes, a wonderful picture. Doctor, what does it show? Hey, just a moment, just a moment. Hmm. According to this x-ray, you have an abscess. An abscess? Yes, it's sort of a pocket. Gee. Hey, it's nothing to be alarmed about. Finding a little pocket under a tooth is very common. Although yours is unusual. Why? It has money in it. <laughs> Look, Doctor, if you think I'm going to stay in this chair... Now, now, settle down. It'll only take a minute. Oh, nurse. Yes? Uh, grab the patient by the hair and hold his head back. Yes, Doctor. Whoops. Well, then grab him by the ear. <laughs> doctor, 
Doctor, I only came here for an examination, oh, that's doctor, all. Doctor, I, I want to have a word with you. Yeah, excuse me. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Hey, then you'd better help me. Nurse, hand me my forceps. Forceps. Novocaine. Novocaine. Needle. 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 Swab. Swab. Burrs. Burrs. Straight chisel. Straight chisel. Drill. Drill. Coat. Coat. Hat. Hat. Suitcase. Suitcase. Doctor. Doctor, what are you doing? Our lease is up. We're moving. What? <laughs> Come on, nurse. Doctor. Doctor, let me out of this chair. Doctor Nelson. Doctor Nelson, don't leave me alone. When your sweetheart sends a little Doctor, come back. Good mind. At least give me some Novocaine. <laughs> Doctor. Ladies and gentlemen, the very best Easter gift of all is the support you give through Easter seals to children who need your help. These seals provide medical care, nursery centers, and many other things that are needed. So give and give generously to the Easter seal agency in your community, or send your contribution to crippled children, care of your local post office. Thank you. Back in just a moment, but first. Do you do da do da do da do you do da do da? Be happy, go lucky, get better taste today. Friends, you can tear and compare and see with your own eyes how Luckies are made better to taste better. From a newly opened pack, take a cigarette made by any other manufacturer. Carefully tear a thin strip of paper straight down the seam from end to end, and gently remove the tobacco. In tearing, be sure not to loosen or dig into the tobacco. Now, do exactly the same with a lucky strike. Then compare. You'll see some cigarettes are so loosely packed they fall apart. Others have air spaces, hot spots that burn harsh and dry. But you won't find that in a lucky. Look at that perfect cylinder of fine, mild tobacco, so free of annoying loose ends that spoil the taste. Notice those long strands of fresh, clean, good-tasting tobacco, so firmly packed to smoke smooth and even, giving you a milder, better-tasting cigarette. Yes, friends, tear and compare. Prove to yourself that Luckies are made better to taste better. Then make your next carton Lucky Strike. Bum, 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 be happy, go lucky, go lucky strike today. Jack. Oh, hello, Mary. How things go at the dentist? What a crazy dentist. I came in, he says, how do you do? He has a crazy x-ray man, he has a girl singing songs in the office, he makes movies. Well, if it's that bad, why don't you change dentists? No, I think I'll just change writers. <laughs> Good night, folks. <laughs> Brought to you by Lucky Strike, product of the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes. This is Don Wilson reminding you to listen to your hit parade with Guy Lombardo every Thursday night, presented by Lucky Strike. Consult your newspaper for time and station. The Jack Benny program has been selected as one of the programs to be heard by our armed forces overseas through the facilities of the Armed Forces Radio Service. Stay tuned for the Amos and Andy Show, which follows immediately. CBS Radio Network.